Hey guys, it's Mallory with CNM Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this cotton candy sunset inspired glitter tumbler. I'm using glitter from Glitzy City and Counterculture Artist Resin, along with a few other products that I'll have linked in the description below. The first thing I'm going to do is start with a blank, clean, stainless steel tumbler, and I'm going to apply two coats of Dixie Belle Slick Stick. This is just a water-based primer specifically designed to bond to glossy surfaces. I'm going to let each coat dry for about an hour or two, and then I'll move on to the base coat. For the base coat, I'm using Dixie Belle Chalk Paint in fluff and it, that's just a soft color white. I'm going to apply one coat of this and let it dry for about an hour. For the rest of the colors, I'm using six different colors, and it's just CraftSmart acrylic paint that I've mixed with a little bit of the Dixie Belle paint. And I mixed it with a little bit of the white because I wanted them to be really soft pastel colors. And all I'm doing is working from the top up and blending each color into the next. I'll have a list of all of the colors that I used as well. I'll let this dry for about an hour or so, and then I'm ready to apply the glitter. I'm using the epoxy method to apply the glitter, and I'm just gonna put a really thin layer on, maybe two milliliters of epoxy. I'll let it spin for about 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that all of the epoxy has leveled out and then I'll go ahead and put the glitter on. For the sand color I'm using Beach Bum from Glitzy City and I'm just going to follow the guide and bring it all the way up to where that pastel brown meets the turquoise. Once the bottom's fully covered, I'm going to use Crushed Pearl Ultra Fine from Glitzy City and I'm going to apply that to the rest of the cup. This glitter is a really pretty translucent color, so it's going to allow for all of the paint to still be seen through the glitter. I'll let this cure overnight and then I'm going to seal it with Min Wax Polyacrylic and this is going to just make sure that none of that sand color glitter moves up into the crushed pearl. Once the polyacrylic is still wet, I'm going to apply the seashells. I'll let this dry for about an hour or two and then I'm ready to put the first coat of epoxy on. I mixed up 20 milliliters of epoxy for the first coat and this is a 20 ounce skinny and it's going to be just the perfect amount to cover the glitter uh, with a nice thick even coat. I'll let this cure for 8 hours and then I will apply a very thin second coat, maybe 10 milliliters. While the second coat is still wet, that's when I'll apply the waves. For the waves, I'm using Armor Art Epoxy Pigment in white, and I just put one small drop into about 10 milliliters of epoxy, and I'm just going to drizzle it where I want to see the waves. I also mixed up some white mica powder 
and I'm just going to drizzle this over the rest of the cup. It's just going to add some added dimension and shimmer. I'm going to hit it with the torch just to pop any air bubbles and to get that white armor art moving. That epoxy pigment really likes heat and that's what's going to create the cells. So it's been spinning for about 15 minutes. I'm going to hit it once more with the torch and rotate the motor so the waves start spinning the other way. And um, if I feel like I need to soften up any of the waves, I'll come in with a popsicle stick and kind of move them around till I'm happy with the outcome. I'll let this spin for three to four more hours. I'll let it cure overnight. If I have any rough spots that need to be sanded, I'll go ahead and sand and then I'm ready to apply the decal. For the decal, I'm using a white vinyl and an opal holographic. I'm just going to apply the decal and then I'll put one final layer of epoxy on. I'll let it cure and then she is all done. All right, so that's it, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them. I'll come back and answer any questions you may have. If you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Share this video with anyone who may be interested. And be sure to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.